Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the video. What if I guess today is another division video? So as you guys know, we have about 24 hours until the 1.4 drops for the division on all platforms. And honestly, I cannot wait. I am so excited for this. Uh, but if you guys didn't notice on my channel, the past couple of videos I did make were on builds. And I'm mainly focusing on like specific builds for any player because I know in this game there's a bunch of different like play styles you can play support you know you, you like using LMGs assault rifles SMGs or marksman rifles whatever it is so for the past couple of days I have been focusing on builds on my channel the most now I'm sorry if you guys are getting kind of annoyed with you know these build videos I'm just trying to help some of you guys that are not familiar on what builds to use in the 1.4 and what builds are really good for, you know, PvP or PvE and stuff like that. So, once again, I am sorry if you guys are getting annoyed of these videos. Once the 1.4 update comes out for all platforms, regular videos should be back on the channel, not just builds. Anyways, today we'll be talking about the best assault rifle damage build in the 1.4. Now, I used assault rifles in the PTS, and to be honest, I wasn't really the biggest fan of them. I know later on they got improved a little bit, but I still wasn't really the biggest fan of them. I liked using SMGs and LMGs a little bit more, but you know, that doesn't really mean that they're not going to be good once the full patch comes out. So like I said in the beginning, we are going to be mainly focusing on damage with these assault rifles. So first up... You want to go with 4 Predators Mark, at least that's what I was using on my Assault Rifles. I also tried out Alpha Bridge, it's not really as good as 4 Predators Mark on the Assault Rifles. So Predators Mark is my choice for Assault Rifles now. What it does is you get 10% reload speed, which is actually really good when you're playing, you know, PvP or PvE. Next up, you also get 8% Assault Rifle damage. Last but not least, one of the best bonuses is hit 10 shots without switching targets to make the target bleed effect for 50% of the bullet damage, which if you think about it, is really good for pretty much anything like PvP or PvE. Although in PvP, you can get rid of it with medkits, which is still really good, and you're going to be getting a lot of critical hit damage if you have decent talents on your assault rifle. For the final two pieces, you can go with two-piece sentry, and this gets you actually 30% um, accuracy on your weapon. So if you are using a assault rifle that doesn't really have the best you know, handling or accuracy. If you go with 2 sentry, it's going to make it a laser beam. It's going to make it really accurate. But if you don't worry too much about accuracy and stability on your weapons, I would 100% recommend going with Savage Gloves for a critical hit chance and a Reckless Chest for more damage on your weapon. In my opinion, for the final two pieces of gear on this build, you can pretty much try out anything that you wish for. I know a lot of people were using Nomad. I know a lot of people were using like Lone Star and stuff like that. You can really pick and choose on what two final pieces of gear you want to be rocking on your build. But like I said, I would recommend Savage Gloves, Reckless Chest, or 2P Sentry for more accuracy on your weapon. But that pretty much concludes the video. Let me know in the comment section below if you have used this build yet or not. And if you do decide to try it out, let me know in the comment section below if you like it or not. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.